Wagwan, wagwan, people, dems. So we are uh, keeping in the Christmas tradition, uh, and I've just I remembered there was a song that I put in my watch later list, um, which I still can't believe I've never heard. So you know when someone does karaoke or like you know they've got a chance to do a, a tune or whatever, everyone's got like an artist that's like their go-to artist. So for me, it's John Legend. Like I love me some John Legend. Like ordinary people, all of me. Um, what's that one with the I used to love you, like these are songs I'm like, okay, I can I can give this I can give this a go. <laughs> I can give this a go. He's done some songs over Christmas, but I've never well, I just haven't I haven't listened to them. Right. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why. Um but he's got one called um is it um Happy Christmas. So I'm guessing this is the so this is Christmas. He's what we've done. I'm guessing it's that one. Um so there's a live version with him. And obviously his glorious piano and there's a choir and there's Christmas trees and there's lights and there's all like this is this is a little this is candles <laughs> this is a bit of me so um yeah we're gonna watch this and see what this is saying um I presume it's gonna be beautiful I love his tone and I love his voice um so it'll be interesting to see what that sounds like on this song so uh yeah let's dive straight in So this is Christmas. It is this song. And what have you done? Mm. Another year over. And a new one just begun. And so this is Christmas. Mm. I hope you have fun. The near and the dear one. The old I love his voice, man. Let's hope. And so this is Christmas. We can for strong. Rich and the poor wise. All is so. So this is Christmas What have we done? Another year over And a new one just begun So happy Mm. 
And what have we done? Ah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, that was amazing. Like his voice is just, it's such a unique tone, isn't it? And I think I haven't listened to any like live John Legend for a while. Like, so I like the songs I listen to, the ones that are obviously recorded and stuff, which is great. Like, because he, he, he records them really well. But to watch him with the piano and like, he's just, his natural intonation and his instinct of what he does and how he does. And like, again, the breath control to how long he holds a note for or what he lets go, where he puts the vibrato, like, you know, the, the way, it's, way it's like a straight note, like, but even his straight notes have got like that, that, that tone. I say tone all the time because I feel like, there are some people's tones which are so unique that they're not, it's not to everyone. Like, for example, I don't know whether my tone when I sing is to everyone's taste. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I enjoy the songs I sing, like, because, like, people tell me that they enjoy them, but you never really know. But I think there's, there, it's, and it's kind of what I was saying about Laiso, like, there are certain tones of certain singers who to me are singers because it's like it's like a universal tone that everybody like I would be surprised and again I know it's not for everybody but I'd be surprised if I don't think John Legend is any good um or it's just not my cup of tea or I don't know but it's just it's just such an awesome like I love that that like, I guess it's like a vocal fry that I'm learning now like the he's got but it's like a it's almost like a, like a warble almost like but this kind of churchy gospely like bluesy what have you done very merry I mean I can't do it <laughs> Luke Neil um but at the same time those are the kind of artists that like I admire like and who you know, would encourage me to be like, get on the stage, put a, put a microphone in your hand and just to try, do you know what I mean? Like it's, you know, it's it, it's inspiring to listen to voices like that, so inspiring. And again, on a song like that, that is a very known, well-known song, like to put your stamp on it from the minute you open your mouth, that to me is like the definition of an artist, do you know what I mean? Like someone who, you, it doesn't matter what they're singing, you know it's them, do you know what I mean? They've got their stamp, that's how, that's what they do. Um, I thought the choir was great, like in the setting was great, his piano playing was great, his suit was amazing, like there was literally nothing to not love about that performance for me, it was delightful. <laughs> Absolutely delightful, to be fair, they had me from the candles. <laughs> they had me from the candles. Um, Again, I'd love to know what everyone else thought of this. Like, you know, did, if this is a classic of yours, did you think you did it justice? Did you like it? Um, are you in the camp that actually, that John Legend isn't your cup of tea? Like, I don't know. Um, but it'd be, it'd be great to kind of just get an understanding of what people thought of this performance. Um, if you did enjoy this, then please do drop me a like and subscribe. That would be amazing. And as I've said in every video for the last year, the begging bowl is out. If you would like to join my YouTube membership, that'd be great. <laughs> it's a great way to support me in the channel, um, which I really need the support at. Um, and I also have a Patreon as well, which is another great way to support the channel if you don't want to, like, if you don't mind coming across to Patreon and from YouTube. Um, and again, it's just a great way to support me in the channel and you get access to stuff before it comes to YouTube and you get to request things quicker. And it, it's just, it's, it's good for you. It's good for me. It's good for the world. <laughs> good for everybody. Um, but for now, thank you so much for watching with me and I hope to see you on the next one. <laughs>